it's Pola from Pola Quilting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's scrappy blog, you will need scraps and more scraps, adding tape or other uh, thin paper you can cut into strips uh, 13 by 2.5 inches ish. We will trim it later. Contrast fabric, optional border fabric, and 10 inch squares. My 10 inch squares are cut out from the button up uh, shirts. Uh, but you can obviously use whatever you've got in your stash. Links to all mentioned tutorials are listed in the description below. First, put your scraps together to create a uh, big enough area to cut out five and a quarter inch blocks, uh, square blocks. Uh, I use strips, but you can use, um, you know, crumbs, orphan blocks, or even cut pieces from the top you have maybe made and you don't like it, <laughs> and you didn't finish it, so that will be a good opportunity to use it up. If you're using small pieces of fabric to put your uh, squares together, my tip is to start the block uh, before you uh, iron it last time and that will give you that uh, crisp uh, surface to cut to the uh, squares. For each big block you will need four scrappy squares. Set them as a four patch, don't sew them yet, uh, just place them as it pleases you uh, for the next step. Next, you will need four three inch squares from your contrasting fabric. On each square, draw two lines. One will be on diagonal, corner to corner, and one will be half an inch below of that first line. Place them on the outside corners of the four patch, and sew on both lines, and cut in between when you finish your sewing. For some extra tips on snowballing, you can check this tutorial. From those two uh, simple stitches, now you have a snowballed four patch and half square triangle. Square small half uh, square triangles to two inches. Now you can put your four patch parts together and sew uh, all seams as uh, usual. When finished, your block should measure 10 inches. Don't worry if it doesn't. Put 10 inch square on top and sew all around. If your four patch came a little bit smaller, just cut the square to match your four patch. Draw lines on diagonal and cut only top layer. This is what I called easy square in a square method, and uh, this is tutorial you can check for full uh, description how to do that. Open the top layer and iron your block, and square up. Uh, I have used my biggest square uh, ruler I had, and that was 12 and a half inches. For the next step, you will need your adding tape pieces or other uh, uh, paper you found you can use for it. You can check this tutorial if you need some more help uh, with adding tape. Add your pieces to the tape, uh, stitch it with a narrow uh, stitch length that will help you to uh, later remove the paper. The finished strips you should square up to 12 and a half by 2 inches. And you will need 4 for each of the block. A tip if you're using adding tape, uh, my strips were much wider uh, than uh, 2 inches, so I first made straight edge as far as I could go with uh, sticking out fabric, and then I cut uh, 2 inches strips as I needed them. Now I've got a batch of lovely strips to add to my next project. Next step, cut 2 inch squares from contrast fabric. You will need 8 for each block. Draw diagonal line on each and place them on adding tape strips from both sides. So we'll be snowballing uh, tapes now. Each side uh, line should go in opposite uh, direction, like on this picture. So on the lines, snowballing the adding tape strips. A small note here, I still have not removed the paper from the back. Uh, I will keep it there until my quilt is all put together. That just holds all of those seams and um, the tape kind of doesn't stretch when I'm using it. Cut out corners and iron out the fabric. Now it's time to put block together like this. So we've got our main block, we've got the adding tape strips, and we've got our half square triangles uh, put together. Unfinished block when you sew all of the seams is 15 and a half inch. Optionally, we can add some borders. Uh, for mine, I've added uh, two and a half inch squares of contrast fabric, and then I cut 15 and a half by two and a half strips from the uh, darker uh, fabric I've, I kind of put away for the borders. I've used in this design my uh, method on perfect borders every time and you can check this one uh, in this tutorial. Here's a close-up for the secondary pattern. Uh, we've got the lovely star there 
and if you use a good contrasting um, color uh, it will really pop out from the rest of the scraps. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will post an update video to show you how I actually finished this quilt. So if you haven't yet please subscribe to not um, miss that and also to support my work. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching and see you next time.